welcome back once again in this part we will design our floating action button and our dashboard fragment in our previous tutorial we did our all the functionality for our fragment so now open this fragment dashboard layout and we need to change this frame layout to linear layout and add orientation vertical and now we need to remove this text view we don't need any text view here and now we need to add card view so white is going to be mesh parent and height is going to be wrap content and add card elevation we can select 5 dp and android elevation is going to be 10 dp now we need to add a linear layout white mesh parent and height is going to be wrap content and for this linear layout we need to add orientation we need to add orientation vertical then create another linear layout white mesh parent and height is going to be wrap content and for this linear layout we need to add orientation we need to add orientation horizontal and now add a relative layout white mesh parent instead of wrap mesh parent we need to select layout white 0 dp because we will use layout weight and layout height is we can select wrap content and now we need to add layout weight so add layout weight we can select one and add graffiti center and now we need to add a text view white mass parent and height is going to be white wrap content and height is going to be wrap content and add text appearance we can call it text appearance large and select a text color android color white and i think we need to choose color black because our background is already white now need to add a text and we can call it income so now we can see our income text and we need this same thing so now copy this relative layout and paste it one more and this time it will be for our expense now we can see two income and now we need to change our text income to expense uh, and we are we are using here layout weight for for uh, for same same size of white for income and expense text view so we need to change this income to expense and inside this expense we will show our expense data and inside our income text we will show our income data so now change it text expense and change text color to hollow dark red you can choose any color whatever you want now we need to copy this linear layout once more time because we need same thing again so we can simply copy this linear layout and paste it one more time and we can see to income and to expense so now change this income and for second linear layout at a layout margin top 7 dp and for and now we need to change this text and now we need to change this text and we can add some decimal value or some integer value we'll set this data later and now add a id and we can call it income set result and for second one we can call id expense set result
we need to call this set result okay now our layout done and in here we also need to change this text so now we can see income and expense and i think we need to add a view after all this linear layout for a horizontal line or we can add it later so we add card view and inside our card view we add all this layout now we need to add coordinate layout so white is going to be mass parent and height is going to be wrap content height is also going to be mass parent and inside this coordinate layout we need to add our floating action button So now we need to add floating action button. First add linear layout white wrap content and height is going to be wrap content. and now add layout gravity bottom int because we want to add this floating action button at the bottom now we need to add layout margin right 10 dp not 15 dp and layout margin bottom 160 dp it's just just a design issue you can choose where you want to show your floating action button and now add a text view white wrap content height wrap content now add a text we can call it expense and one more id and we can call it expense ft text and add a padding we can call it 5 dp and add text color android color white and add a background and we can choose background nav feeder we just want to use this nav feeder color if you want you can change this color and add layout graffiti and layout graffiti is going to be center and at layout margin right 5 dp and visibility is invisible we don't want to visible now when we will click then we will visible it so now add text appearance so text appearance is small and after that we need to add our floating action button so floating action button white wrap content and height is going to be wrap content and now define a id we can call it expense ft button and add layout gravity bottom int and now add background tint and now we can select a background color for our floating action button and we need to generate a color and we can use this color code and now we need to add at android elevation select 60p and add fav size we need to choose mini and add android visibility invisible and add parset translations 12 dp 
and we need to add android source durable expense that we created when we when you working on our navigation bar so i would like to use same icon and one more time we need to create another linear layout white wrap content and height wrap content and we need to add layout gravity in bottom int and add layout margin right 15 dp and add layout margin bottom 90 dp and add a text view we can call it white wrap content and height wrap content and add a text we can call it income and id is going to be income ft text and add a text appearance text appearance not to text appearance first add text color and then add padding add padding 5 dp and add android background nav feeder and now we need to add layout graffiti center add a layout margin right 5 dp add visibility invisible and add text appearance text appearance is smooth And now we need to add our floating action button. So white wrap content and height is also wrap content. And define a ID, we can call it ID income FT button. And add a layout graffiti bottom int. Now we need to add our background tint and select a color that you want to show i would like to choose this color code and we can choose this color this color now at android elevation 60p it will give us a shadow and at fast size and mini so that is our floating button size and press transaction is 12 dp and visibility invisible we are invisibling this because when we will click then we want to visible this button now add a source and we need to add our income icon now we need to add our one more floating action button and that will be our main floating action button when we will click this floating button then we would like to open this those two floating action button that we designed so floating action button white wrap content and height wrap content and define a id and we can call it fef main plus button now add layout graffiti bottom int and add layout margin bottom 16 dp and layout margin right 20 dp and add background tint and we need to choose we need to choose a color for our main floating action button i think this color is good and add fab size and for this button we need to choose fab size normal and source is going to be income that we want to add plus icon and now we can see our this 
floating button is visible and rest of two is invisible so when we will click this button we would like to visible rest of two floating button so we design our floating button and we design our dashboard dashboard fragment so we added card view we added coordinate layout and inside this coordinate layout we added our floating action button now hit this run button so now we can see our layout we can see our floating action button now if we click this floating action button it will not give us anything cause we did not work any functionality for this button so this is our dashboard fragment now click income fragment and now we are in income fragment and click expense fragment now we are in expense fragment so in our next part we will add work with our floating action button and we will add all this functionality for how to open rest of to floating action button and the rest of functionality.